Hi everyone, I had a teacher request that I speak about resilience and so this next bit follows on from uh, increasing our capacity to uh, notice our sensations as well as name our emotions. What I'm going to talk about now is I want to introduce two concepts and the first one is called the window of tolerance. And the second one is about regulation and dysregulation and how it links to resilience. So I've shared a graphic um, which shows in a diagram form what the window of tolerance is. So basically the window of tolerance is we have kind of like a middle ground where we're able to navigate life with ease, we can handle what life throws at us. So if something happens, we don't get knocked completely off axis. We, we can bounce back, so to speak. That's the resilience factor. And in this window of tolerance, this is the place where we are regulated. And what we mean by regulated, or what I mean by regulated, is when we have a sense of calm, when um, we can think clearly, Regulation is linked to our autonomic nervous system and the state of our autonomic nervous system. I'm not going to go into too much detail here. But needless to say, when we are starting to go to the edges of our window of tolerance, we're starting to go step into a dysregulated state. So you'll see from the diagram that you can either be in hypo or hypo. So hypo is the, the kind of the shutdown, the days, the dissociation, the lack of motivation. And the hyper is the explosive, um, the, the learner that can't sit still, the one that's always picking a fight, um, talking loudly, talking fast. All of those can be not always, can be signs of a hyper arousal and a dysregulated state. So why is this important? Keeping within the window of tolerance is very important for us to navigate life um, with more ease. When we are sitting in either of those uh, hyper or hypo, we we're not able to handle what life throws at us. So our resilience is decreased. Yeah? Our resilience and our capacity to handle and respond to what is going on in the moment is lower. And you'll see on the graphic that that speaks about how trauma can shrink our window of tolerance. So what happens is when we're in, um, when we've experienced trauma, uh, or where we are in something like we are now, which is collective trauma and ongoing, our window of tolerance decreases. So we have less capacity to manage what's going on in our day-to-day -day lives, let alone uh, deal with any of the curveballs, which I know seem to happen on a daily basis. So what we want to do for ourselves and what we want to um, support the learners to do is stay within the window of tolerance. Okay? And part of being able to do that is to notice when you're leaving the window of tolerance. And the way we do this is we notice what we are feeling. Okay? So, so we notice the sensations and we notice what that means. What are the emotions associated with that? With that? So if I notice I'm... I'm buzzy like that's the sensation and the emotion that's um, associated with that is I'm excited but it's not in balance to what's happening around me that can point towards the fact that I might be moving outside of my window of tolerance or perhaps um, I feel my body feels heavy and stiff and um, that those are the sensations and 
and the emotion the emotion that I feel with that is I feel contracted yeah? and it becomes very difficult for me to do anything yeah? that could point towards going uh, out your window of tolerance towards hypo arousal so what I'm going to show you next in a separate video is I'm going to talk you through a tool called orientation and this helps get you back into your window of tolerance. It is an exceptional tool. Um, I would recommend that you do it four, five, six times a day. But certainly if you're starting a class, whether it's in person or online, this is an incredible way to start. Helps everybody come back to center and just embody a little bit of calm before you embark on learning anything.